I'm Dr. Joanne Cummings and I'm the knowledge mobilization person with PrevNet. The community of practice has been a wonderful learning experience for me personally and I believe for everybody at PrevNet. We always say that we want to create change in all the places where Canadian children and youth live, learn and play. So bullying and bullying prevention is important in the school context but it is also extremely important in a, in a community context, for example. Um, in organizations like Scouts Canada, in organizations like Big Brothers Big Sisters. And of course, Canadian Red Cross does um, violence prevention education, um, both in schools and in other organizations. So the learning for m me personally and for PrevNet was about how organizations work and how they train staff and volunteers, the um, amount of investment and commitment they have to creating excellent programming, to doing programming evaluation, and to having really up to the minute um, appropriate policies to ensure the safety of children and youth. And it's been a marvelous experience collaborating in all of these aspects of their work. I think that working with PrevNet for me personally has been the greatest joy because I, having studied developmental psychology in university, I always wanted to be a clinician, but I was always intrigued by research and wanted to create a difference in the world more than I can through being a clinician. So I do also work as a clinician, which is great, but my work at PrevNet enables me to affect many, many more children and many more youth and to be constantly learning. So on a personal level, I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world. When we met with the, um, organ the youth serving organizations who are part of the community of practice, we spent some of our early meetings brainstorming about what's really important for healthy relationships for children and clearly safety is one of them. One of the things we talked about is how every organization has a duty of care to keep the children safe who it serves and supports and um, also has a duty of care to um, report uh, child abuse or suspicions of child abuse and um, also has a duty to ensure that the adults who work with those kids are safe and are acting appropriately. And as we know, um, ch child abuse was a topic that was rather taboo for many, many years and perhaps since the 80s and 90s, we're aware that some child abuse does exist, but the fact that it might exist in youth serving organizations is a very sensitive topic. But working in the community of practice, we realize this is important, this is very, clearly necessary to ensure that everybody who joins a youth serving organization such as Scouts Canada or Big Brothers Big Sisters it, or Red Cross is safe to work with kids and that other um, members of the organization, other whether they're volunteers or leaders, has the knowledge and skills they know that, that are necessary and the positive attitude that's necessary to um, report a colleague if they were concerned or to, follow, to um, take action rather than think it's somebody else's responsibility responsibility to ensure that kids are safe. I think the biggest surprise for me was that having done bullying prevention work really since the early 1990s, I kind of think that everybody understands so much about what bullying is, how it affects kids, how we as adults need to take responsibility, how we have to be proactive. And yet working with the various organizations in this community of practice, I realize that there is a lot that we assume. We assume that teachers and we assume that recreation leaders or coaches know or scout leaders or whomever, we assume that they really know how to work with kids, how to work in a, fa in a respectful and caring fashion, maintaining the youth's dignity, ensuring that children are safe, but at the same time exercising their responsibility. And what came out was that when we developed the Healthy Relationships Training Module, the feedback is always, wow, this was so helpful, this was so fresh, this information was so new to us. And that, I think, has been the biggest surprise for me and a very gratifying one as well.